वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जे बी आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो हेलो एवरी वन टूडे एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ एम एल अगरवाल एंड इट्स द चैप्टर ऑफ ई रैशनल नंबर द प्रीवियस वन इज रैशनल नंबर दैट मीन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट वन टू फाइंड द लिंक यू कैन चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स सो वॉट इज ई रैशनल नंबर वॉट इज रैशनल नंबर द रैशनल नंबर दैट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस बाई पी बाई क्यू फॉर्म सो दैट मीन्स द नंबर विच कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस बाई पी बाई क्यू फॉर्म इट्स कॉल ई रैशनल नंबर सपोज यर दम एग्जाम्पल आर रूट टू रूट फाइव और माइनस रूट सिक्स और वन बाई रूट फाइव और टू प्लस रूट थ्री दिस आर द सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द ई रैशनल नंबर्स सो हियर एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके सो फर्स्ट आई टेल यू दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स हियर इन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू इट्स अ लिटिल बिट टफ प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड इट्स फुल्ली बेस्ड ऑन द थियोरेम ओके सो वेरी केयरफुली यू हैव टू लर्न और यू हैव टू लिसन वेरी केयरफुली अदरवाइज यू कैन फेस सम काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स सो हियर द फर्स्ट वन प्रूव दैट रूट फाइव इज एन ई रैशनल नंबर ओके आई रिपीट प्रूव दैट रूट फाइव इज एन ई रैशनल नंबर सम नाउ वन टू एंड थ्री अ सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट वन रूट फाइव सेकेंड वन रूट सेवन एंड थर्ड वन रूट सिक्स सो आई जस्ट जस्ट गोइंग टू सॉल्व ओनली द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट मीन्स रूट फाइव यू कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट द नेक्स्ट टू प्रॉब्लम दैट मीन रूट सिक्स एंड रूट सेवन बाई द यूजिंग द सेम मेथड और एस सेम एस सम नंबर वन सो हियर लेट रूट फाइव बी आर रैशनल नंबर सो फर्स्ट लेट रूट फाइव बी आ रैशनल नंबर सो रूट फाइव इक्वल टू पी बाई क्यू ओके वेर पी एंड क्यू आर द इंटीजर्स एंड क्यू नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो ओके रिमेम्बर दैट वेर पी एंड क्यू आर इंटीजर्स एंड क्यू नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पी एंड क्यू हैव नो कॉमन फैक्टर एक्सेप्ट वन ओके सो फर्स्ट लेट रूट फाइव बी आर रैशनल नंबर एंड इट्स रूट फाइव बी आर रैशनल नंबर दैट मीन्स इट्स पी बाई क्यू फॉर्म एब्सोलूटली सो पी एंड क्यू आर द इंटीजर्स क्यू नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पी एंड क्यू हैव नो कॉमन फैक्टर्स नाउ स्क्वेरिंग बोथ साइड यू विल गेट फाइव इक्वल टू पी स्क्वायर बाई क्यू स्क्वायर ओके इफ यू स्क्वायर बोथ साइड देन यू विल गेट फाइव इक्वल टू पी स्क्वायर बाई क्यू स्क्वायर सो फ्रॉम दैट यू कैन इजी राइट डाउन पी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फाइव क्यू स्क्वायर पुट इट नंबर वन ओके पी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फाइव क्यू स्क्वायर पुट इट नंबर वन नाउ एस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई एस फाइव डिवाइड्स फाइव क्यू स्क्वायर सो फाइव डिवाइड पी स्क्वायर एंड फाइव इज अ प्राइम नंबर ओके एस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई क्यू स्क्वायर सॉरी फाइव क्यू स्क्वायर देन सो फाइव डिवाइड पी स्क्वायर ऑल्सो एंड पी इज अयर फाइव इज अ प्राइम नंबर दैट मीन्स फाइव डिवाइड्स पी सो नाउ लेट लेट हियर पी इक्वल टू फाइव एम Let p equal to 5m, where m is an integer. Just write down here, m is an integer. Now, substituting the value of p, substituting the value of p from here, okay? As here, p square equal to 5q square. As here, p square equal to 5q square. So here, p, p equal to as p equal to 5m square, okay? So first, p square. Equal to 5m whole square, okay? P square equal to 5m whole square. Now instead of p square, you can write down here 5q square. So 5q square equal to 5m whole square. Then from that, 5q square equal to 25m square. So it becomes q square equal to 5m square, okay? Q square equal to 5m square. Now as Five divides five m square, so five divides q square also. But five is a prime number. But five is a prime number. So that means here five divides q. Okay. So in the first five divides p, here five divides q. Thus p and q have a common factor five. That means p and q have a common factor five. This contradicts. that p and q 
have no common factor except one. Okay, as root five equal to p by q is a rational number, then p and q have no common factor except one. But here, here we see that p and q is a common factor, and that is five. So hence, root five is not a rational number. Hence, root five is not a rational number. So you can easily we conclude that root five is a irrational number. Okay. So easily we can conclude that root five is a irrational number. Okay. So so for the first one, first you have to consider root five as a rational number. Then root five equal to p by q form. Then from that you can easily find out p square equal to five q square. And as five q square divided by five, then five q square also divided by p square. Okay. Then five also divided by p square. But five is a prime number, so five divides p. Next one, as p equal to five m. Okay. As let p equal to five m, then p square equal to five m whole square. Now instead of p square, you can put down here five q square. So from that you can find out q square equal to five m square. As five m square divided by five, so in q square is also divided by five. That means five divides by q. Okay, that means p and q both are a same factor or common factor that is five. But it's con, but this is the contradiction. Okay, that is the contradiction. As he said that we said before that here p by q and p and q have no common factor except one. So that means root five is not a rational number. So it's a irrational number and it's proved. Now sum number four. Prove that one by root eleven. Prove that one by root eleven is an irrational number. Okay, so this is as the same kind of problem. So first you have to let one by root eleven as p by q form, where p and q are the integers and p and q have no common factor. Okay, so after that the squaring both side you will get one by eleven that equal to p square by q square. So from that q square equal to eleven p square. Okay, as eleven divides eleven p square, so eleven divides q square also. But eleven is a prime, so eleven divides q. Okay, so first eleven divides q. Then next thing you have to first write down here q equal to eleven m, where m is another integer, and then squaring both side you will get q square equal to one to one m square. Okay, squaring both sides. So instead of q square, you can write down here eleven p square that equal to one to one m square. Then that equal to p square equal to eleven m square. Okay. So as p square equal to eleven m square, and as eleven divides eleven m square, so eleven divides p square also. But eleven is a prime number, so that means eleven divides p. So that means here p and q both are have common factor that is eleven. But it contradicts that p and q has no common factor. So that means this one, it's not a rational number. It's a irrational number, and it's proved. Now sum number five. In sum number five, here the given problem is prove that root two is a irrational number. Okay. So I hope you can easily prove that root two is a irrational number by using the same method as same as sum number one, two, or three. Okay, next part is hence so that three minus root two. Hence so that three minus root two is an irrational number. Okay, so first assume that three minus root two is a rational number and say that equal to r. Okay, three minus root two equal to r. So from that three minus r equal to root two. Three minus r equal to root two. Now as r is a rational. And three minus r is rational. That means root two is rational. Okay, as r is the by our assumption, as as r is the rational, that means three minus r is also a rational number, and that equal to two root two. That means root two is a rational. But this contradicts the fact that root two is irrational. Okay, this contradicts the fact that root two is a irrational number. So that means our assumption is wrong. So three minus root two is an irrational number, and it's proved. Next one, sum number six. Prove that root three is an irrational number. You can easily prove it. Now the second part. So that two by five. 
2 by 5 root 3 is an irrational number. So first assume that 2 by 5 root 3 equal to r where r is a rational number. Okay. So from that root 3 equal to 5 by 2 r. Okay, root 3 equal to 5 by 2 r. Now, as r is the rational number, then 5 by 2 r also is a rational number. As r is the rational number, then 5 by 2 into r, it's a rational number. And that means root 3 is rational. But this contradicts the fact that root 3 as root 3 is irrational number. It's not a rational number. So that means our assumption is wrong. So you can easily write down here from here 2 by 5 root 3, it's a irrational number so it's proved very easy okay now the last one sum number eight okay sum number seven are as same as sum number five and or six so you can easily find out or the solve the problems now sum number eight there are total four problems eight one first one five plus root two prove that the following numbers are irrational number so first assume that five plus root two is a rational number and that equal to r so from that 5 minus r equal to root 2 and as r is rational number then 5 minus r also a rational number so that means root 2 is rational but this contradicts the fact that root 2 is irrational okay this contradicts the fact that root 2 is irrational okay so first you have to write down as here as r is rational then 5 minus r is also rational that means root 2 is rational this is the first line now next line you have to write down this contradicts the fact that root 2 is irrational so here our assumption is wrong and that means 5 plus root 2 is a sorry is an irrational number now the second one number 2 3 minus 5 root 3 so as same as first you have to assume that this one is a rational number and that equal to r so from that minus 5 root 3 equal to uh, r minus 3 that means here uh, minus 5 so over here root 3 sorry root 3 equal to 3 minus 1 by 5 okay as here minus 5 you have to just multiply minus both up and down so it will be 3 minus r by 5 okay so as here r is the rational number that means 3 minus r by 5 it's also rational number so that means here root 3 is a rational number but it contradicts that root 3 is irrational number okay so that means here 3 minus 5 root 3 is a irrational number in similar way you can find out some number 3 so now the last one some number 4 in some number 4 here root 2 plus root 5 root 2 plus root 5 you have to prove that it's a irrational number so First let root 2 plus root 5 is a rational number and that equal to r. Okay. So from that root 5 equal to r minus root 2. Now squaring both sides 5 equal to r minus root 2 whole square. Okay. So from that you will get r square minus 2 root 2 r plus 2. Okay. So 5 equal to r square minus 2 root 2 r minus 2. So now 5 minus 2 that becomes 3. So 3 equal to r square minus 2 root 2 r. Okay. So 3 equal to r square minus 2 root 2 r. So from that 2 root 2 r, 2 root 2 r equal to r square minus 3. Okay. 2 root 2 r equal to r square minus 3. That means finally root 2 equal to r square minus 3 by 2 r okay so finally we'll get root 2 equal to r square minus 3 by 2 r and as r is the rational number then r square minus 3 is a rational number also and 2 r also a rational number that means that means root 2 is a rational number but this contradicts the fact that root 2 is irrational number so our assumption is wrong so you can write down here root 2 plus root 5 it's an irrational number okay so if you like my video please please share this video with your friends and please stay with us keep watching